Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Shane from Rock Proud Sound. Just got done playing hockey, not even showered, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a tutorial. So today we're gonna be checking out how to make these like hand drill sounds, and this is what they sound like. So really kind of cool sound here. Um, kind of like that hydraulic drill bass that Excision uses and all sorts of awesome producers. So let's go ahead and check out how it's made. It's actually very simple. Um, I've been getting, Getting a little crazy with the saw waveforms lately, if you guys have been catching on to that theme. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with our inverted saw at a 50% phase here. It's not our basic sawtooth. If we want to go to our basic sawtooth, we're going to go into basic shapes and see the difference, guys. It's a little bit different. So um, we're going to turn off oscillator B for now. I just kind of want to show you that. And we're actually going to turn on our FM from B, or our frequency modulation from oscillator B. And we're going to turn this up to just about halfway. Um, but obviously... It sounds like a normal saw waveform because we aren't getting the frequencies from oscillator B. So let's go ahead and turn on oscillator B. All right. Let's turn it up a couple octaves. Um, now we just want to turn on the level because there's no reason to be outputting oscillator B's level when we are already running it through frequency modulation. So, okie dokie. Um, Skype is pissing me off right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually begin our modulation cycle. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a nice little shape like this. Um, the drill, if we think about a drill sound, what does it do? It goes, right? And it goes, <laughs> and now it sounds goofy, but it's true, it's true. So we're going to put that on trigger rate right at one fourth. And now we're actually going to modulate the level um, of oscillator A. Because it isn't just static, it doesn't just go it goes all right. And speaking of we're gonna go ahead and modulate the pitch of oscillator B here. And we're gonna go up to about 24, 25 points here. Now you guys hear what I'm talking about. Voicing, we could just turn this up. Not a huge um, deal right here. That's not really important, but All right, so now is kind of an important part here in the sound. We're actually just going to turn on, oh, my bad, our sync, actually. Let's turn off the filter. And we're going to turn up the sync. All right, that sounded pretty fat, of course. So as you can hear, the sound is really starting to come together. Let's go into our filter. We're going to select Michelin, and we're going to select Michelin. All right, I'm not even gonna try pronouncing that. We're gonna go into our band reject filter. And here, let's just take a look at what the band reject filter is actually doing to the sound. Uh, we move around the cutoff and it's basically just a notch filter, correct? Um, let's move the width, wow. Really just widening that, uh, that cut there. So we're actually gonna be modulating this width here and the cutoff. So let's move the, start off with the cutoff at around 15 Hertz. And we're just going to be modulating it up. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Turn up the resonance so we have a little bit more impact of an effect here. Just got a phone call right in the middle of recording a tutorial. How rude is that? Let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. Oh my gosh, people are so rude these days. Let's go ahead and modulate the width. All right. All right, that sounded pretty fat there. Um, let's go ahead and into our effects section because the sound sounded decent. We just got to really clean it up now. Um, phaser, we're going to do the nice little phaser trick that I always do. We're going to turn on the rate to zero hertz, do the depth down to zero, and the frequency down to 20 hertz here. <coughs> sounds like it's passing through a guitar amp, right? So, sounds pretty good. <coughs> okay. We got to even out these frequencies. We're going to turn on the compressor and then we're going to select multiband. And multiband is really going to just kind of thicken it up. That sounds so much better, right? It brings out the high end a lot more and it even adds in a little bit of sub to the sound that it is kind of missing out on. Um, finally, we can throw on some reverb. Because come on, if we're if we're getting a little drill action, we might be doing it in a garage. So the sound's gonna be echo echoing, you know, bouncing around all over the walls. It's not just in some room. You know what I'm saying? So Finally, we're going to stick on some hyper and dimension. And 
And that's literally all it takes to make that sound. Okay. Uh, kind of interesting sound. I hope that you guys mess around with this and you guys like this tutorial. If you didn't, uh, that's a shame. But if you guys are new here, make sure you guys consider clicking that subscribe button because we literally have the best tutorials on YouTube. I know this was a short video. I actually got to go. That's what that phone call was about. It's a shame, I know. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video.